So hello and welcome all signs. This is going to be your uh, weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. We're going to be reading with Lenormand and then to clarify with a tarot. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe so you don't know, miss another reading. And thank you all for being here. It means a lot. Oh, and keep in mind that these are daily readings, so the energies are not that big. Oh, so much hair everywhere. Look at this. Oh, well. And uh, tomorrow as well for my members, we're going to come out with uh, what somebody's thoughts is towards you. So don't miss that. So let's... Uh, More cuddles? No, not more cuddles. There we go. Yeah, so let's begin. Aries! Oh, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what the week has to offer. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So let's see, what do you need to know, Aries? It's like you are making a decision this week, Aries. Like a final, a final call. We have some happiness here as well. well let's see. Something that you are going back and forth with. So, Aries, on Monday, can I do see you just uh, uh, crushing it, Aries? Having a good time as well. Can be this uh, aha moment as well, Aries, where you uh, start realizing something, knowing that you are, um, well, right, Aries. Tuesday. Yeah, because it's like your intuition here on Tuesday or your, your gut feeling, Aries, is all over the place. It's like not knowing what to decide or a lot of back and forth, Aries, on Tuesday. Something is being unclear to you. Wednesday, <clears throat> this is where we make this decision, Aries. And this is a decision where you are pretty certain about as well. Can be this that you were unclear on, on Tuesday. But on Wednesday, it's like, I know exactly what it is I'm supposed to do or uh, this is what I'm going for. So being very, from going from uncertainty to being just knowing exactly how it is. Thursday, there's a lot of love here on Thursday, Aries. Can be that you're just spending your day with friends and family. It's a lot of uh, back and forth. 
but it's a good emotions stability as well Aries on Thursday and on Friday Aries this can be somebody asking you out on a date on Friday or you getting knowledge that somebody uh, have more emotions towards you like oh they they do like me um, yeah it's like a secret crush here Aries stepping forward can be you as well Aries realizing that you might be having a little bit more feeling towards uh, somebody than you thought I'm just gonna clarify Tuesday for you. Aries. Looks like a pretty good week. A lot of stability, Aries. Happiness as well. It's just Tuesday, we are a little bit confused. Or something is not sitting right with you. Can be a misunderstanding, Aries, on Tuesday. I almost do see somebody coming, stepping forward, uh, accusing you of something or uh, wanting to start some sort of drama here on Tuesday, and that's where the confusion comes from. Like, where is where is all of this coming from? yeah so aries that's what i have for you this week thank you and uh, bye taurus so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what this week has to offer i'm going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most let's see taurus what do you need to know for the coming days yes see you're just standing there watching me I'm gonna start clarifying straight away Taurus because it's almost this uh, <clears throat> this feeling of well you struggling this week of moving on from something we will see so I do see you moving forward and then the next day it's like you are back where you started Uh, Monday yeah Taurus on Monday it's kind of do see you going uh, like you being intrigued by something here wanting to see where it uh, leads uh, Taurus it's like you do have your doors open on Monday and uh, can be as well that you are accepting some sort of invitation here Taurus on Monday you're joining somebody on an um, adventure
on Tuesday. It's like you are going out of your comfort zone, Taurus. Can be this feeling as well of you waking up up there on the wrong side of the bed, like not feeling as you as yourself. Or as Wednesday, <clears throat> you do have mixed emotions on Wednesday, Taurus. Can be that you are questioning uh, a love or just something that you care for. Might be having a starting to get a different opinion, Taurus. Yeah, so a little bit of mixed emotions here. So, Taurus, can I do see that this week is more you questioning a uh, uh, love, Taurus? It's like you're all wanting to see what's what else is out there or starting to I think of in those ways, Taurus. And it all starts with Monday. This can be like a, well, an invitation of uh, somebody else. Can even be some sort of uh, job offer, Taurus. But even though I do see you staying, <coughs> sorry, even though I do see you staying committed to the thing that you are, uh, well, towards your person or towards your job, your thoughts is well starting to wonder because here on thursday it's like you have you are having those it's like you are creating this uh, fantasy stories or starting to dream what it would be like to well be with this person or to have that job um yeah like you are escaping a little bit uh, or in your mind kind of cheating Taurus but I do I still see you staying committed uh, yeah because here on Friday it's like <coughs> it's like now I'm better I'm better where I am right now I have made a promise or this is where I'm this is my this is my path you can't help to wonder Taurus yeah so Taurus uh, on Friday I do see you keeping a, a promise here can be that you have made a, a date as well it's like you are more exci excited here on Friday, Taurus, to see where this goes. Um, it can be a date as well. Yeah, Taurus. Feeling a bit split this week. Um, mostly I do see your, there is your mind that starts to wonder. Uh, Wanting to see if the grass is greener or wandering. So, Taurus, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Gemini! So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at uh, what this week has to offer. Let's see. Let's see. 
what you need to know. Gemini. For the coming days. So a lot of stability here for you, Gemini, this week. Harmony as well, getting some sort of offer, a lot of communication. It's just Monday that starts a little bit. Well, we will see what's going on here. Why is the snake here on Monday? talks a lot about uh, patience Gemini it's you holding back a lot of <coughs> well it can be that you just ne needed to remain patient in, in a situation Gemini it's kind of you controlling some sort of uh, it's like you biting your tongue here on Monday, Gemini. Not wanting to make a situation wor worse, or just knowing that the best thing to do is to well, remain silent. Tuesday. We have some good news to see it regarding work. Can I just be you as well, Gemini? Feeling this uh, uh, positives and that things are going your way. Yeah, but Tuesday is a it's a good day, Gemini. You do have the wheel of fortune here on, on Tuesday. Uh, so it can be something good regarding work, Gemini, on Tuesday. Wednesday, it's like you are trying something here, Gemini, on Wednesday that you are not really that certain about. Can be something new that you are just trying out to see how it how it feels, but it's like you are being very careful. Uh, in the way you approach it Gemini. if it is a, a person as well that you are interested in it's like you are just well seeing how they react on some Like flirting a little bit, Gemini, on Wednesday. There's a lot of because I do see you being. There is a stability here this week for you, Gemini. It's like you feeling stable, you are secure on what it is that you're wanting. At least here on, on Thursday as well, feeling this harmony. Uh, but I, I'm gonna clarify Wednesday more for you because it's almost like you're not wanting to do anything to ruin this and on Friday Gemini it's like you are can be uh, some uh, can be some bad news here, Gemini. 
I don't see it regarding you. It's more like gossip, Gemini, on Friday. Like hearing something that saddens you. Um, Yeah, it can be just a friend as well going through some something rough, Gemini. Needing some extra support. Let's see. Let's clarify uh, Wednesday for you. Can you? Thank you. All right. Yeah, Gemini. On Wednesday, it's like you are. Um, it's like you are trying out uh, something new, something that you are a little bit of, uh, afraid of. But it's like you have made yourself a promise that you're going to at least try. So you are going for it. You're doing it. Uh, Gemini. It can be that you are asking somebody out as well. But this is... Uh, I do see it regarding your emotions. But it can be just how you're uh, feeling, Gemini. Let go. Let go. You. Yeah. I do see a lot of stability here, or right? you you feeling comfortable uh, with yourself, Gemini. Yeah, it's I do see it's more your surroundings, um, like a, a friend in need here, and well, a situation where you're just well deciding to bite your tongue instead of doing something. Yeah. So Gemini, yeah, uh, that's where I for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Cancer! So, this is going to be your reading. She came in in uh, Gemini's reading. Was all playful. Off you go. Careful now. There you go. Okay. So, Cancer, let's see. <coughs> We're going to go day by day, Cancer, to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Let's see what this week has to offer. Ah, Cancer, looks like a good week here for you, or at least the way it starts. It's like you are, by the end, looking for some answers, trying to clear something, wanting some clarity, but let's see. Cancer. On Monday, it's like you are after something more uh, cancer. I do see it being a good day for you. And uh, it can be that you do have some extra energy as well. But it's like you're wanting to well, just take a look what else is out there. Uh, cancer. Yeah, can I use it as a, as a, as almost a day that you don't want to end, 
it's searching for different things to do because you are having all of this uh, good positive energy in you Tuesday can be that you are coming in with some extra income uh, cancer on Tuesday and it's like you are being careful of who you are uh, telling or sharing this with well, we will clarify just a little bit more for you oh cancer it's like you are on the pursuit of uh, well, happiness almost So it is this that you are almost searching more for uh, a new experience here, Cancer. Wanted to take on something more. It's like, what else can I master? Can be as well that you're wanting to take a step, um, another step up, Cancer. Like you're going for the promotion or. Uh, wanting more responsibility It's like something has become So easy for you that you are almost looking for a challenge here cancer So that's what you are searching for almost like uh, yeah, I kind of do see you searching for a challenge uh, Why do you see you feeling confident um, and in the in the search here? Uh, Tuesday. And that's what Wednesday is uh, about as well, Cancer. It's like what is what is it that I'm wanting to take on here? Because if you want it to matter to you as well, it's like you're not wanting to pick something random and go for it. It's like something that you can master and it is important um, to you. Can be a dis disagreement on Thursday with somebody that you do care for, Cancer. If you do have a a special somebody I mean, uh, like your person cancer can be a disagreement not seeing it in their point of view Yeah, but Cancer, <clears throat> I really do see that this week is you all about uh, searching for a, a challenge or the next step for you. It's all the emotions here uh, going through that. Like finding what's important to you, not feeling, uh, not feeling satisfied at the current thing that you're doing because it's, well, it's too easy for you. I do see you finding it to being confident it in what it is that you are after uh, on Friday here. Um, like finding the answers. 
it can be that you know, on Thursday it's like just this confusion of what it is that you're really uh, desiring cancer yeah just like what's next for you cancer is what this week is all about <clears throat> I do see you finding the answer on, on Friday here. Yeah, so, the answer. That's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Leo! So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what this week has to offer. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. Let's see what you need to know. For the coming days. A lot of good energy for you this week, Leo. Stability, happiness, emotions, some news as well. Tuesday is the only day that is a little bit. Uh, well, some confusion here. We will see. Yeah, can be an offer that you have been waiting for, uh, Leo, on Monday. But it is news that will make you happy. Like, finally, yes. Leo. Yeah, but I do see it more you being um, a kind of more proud, Leo. Can be somebody else. Good news that you are taking, like being proud of or relieved that this has happened. Tuesday because if this on Monday is some sort of offer Leo it's like on Tuesday you're taking you're taking a look on what it what will happen if you take this path Might even be a realization that this is not the best for you right now, Leo. Yeah, it's a little bit worried here on on Tuesday of uh, where this will lead you, uh, Leo, or the path that you are on. Like you are questioning it. Wednesday, doing a lot of preparation here regarding work. Can be that you do have some sort of meeting or uh, some sort of presentation, Leo, that you need to get ready. You see it being a working day for you. Thursday. It's a lot of love and happiness here on Thursday. 
such a good energy as well. Leo. Yeah. Like you are uh, surrounded by positive energies uh, here on Thursday. It can be a specific somebody as well that make you feel this way, Leo. And on Friday, it's a lot of uh, Can I do see you starting to wonder here, Leo, or think more about well the term love? That you are taking a good hard look into yourself here on Friday, what it is that you are after or wanting when it comes to um, when it comes to love, Leo. Can even be that you are making some sort of plans uh, of start dating again. Because it is on, on Tuesday here, Leo. <clears throat> so it is this feeling of you almost wanting to decline an offer or just not liking your current situation where, where this path is uh, leading you. It's almost it is this stability, Leo. It's, uh, at the same time, it's like wondering or starting to feel like, uh, well, money or finance is it isn't all. It isn't all that you are looking for. Leo. It can be in the terms of you wanting to change direction of your career or job starting to think those ways leo and this on wednesday must not be you preparing a presentation or, or a, a meeting it can be you starting to prepare a, a transfer or a change when it comes to your work leo Yeah. So, Leo. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's what I had for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Virgo. So, this is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at well, what this week has to offer. I'm going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Let's see. Virgo. Starting with Monday.
almost just a week where you need to put yourself first Virgo that's what you're trying to do I will see I'll start with Monday Uh, on Monday, it's like you are thinking about some uh, a sadness here, Virgo. Can be as well something that reminds you of a time where you were not feeling uh, as good. Um, yeah, but I kind of do see you being in your emotions on on Monday, uh, not sharing your issues, but. But thinking about them, feeling them. Tuesday, do see you taking more time uh, towards yourself, doing something that uh, can be that you're doing something that uh, that you like, uh, Virgo. That feels important to you. That keeps you. That gives you a calmness. Yeah. Do something that is important to you, Virgo, on, on Tuesday. And if you're not, then find time to do something that is important to you. It's gonna help you. Wednesday. So a lot of good emotions here on Wednesday. It's a lot of love. If you are going on some sort of date, you see it being like they just everything goes really well as well. There we go. It's just uh, yeah, it's, it's a completely different uh, emotion than on on Monday. That's for sure. Really being at at peace here uh, on Wednesday and surrounded by good emotions. Yeah, a lovely day. Let me just clarify one thing. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Can I do see that you are ending it with someone this week, like breaking some sort of connection? Um, can be with a, with a what with your person that you have been dating, but you're calling things off, Virgo. And here on Wednesday, it's like you know it is this calmness that you are doing the right thing because on on Thursday. On Thursday, can I do see you breaking the news? Or at least that you do need some some time apart. Yeah. There we go.
and on Friday you will be feeling a little bit of heartbroken even though that you made uh, the call here you still had some uh, emotions towards them um, so there is this sadness as well on Friday but at the same time it's like knowing that you have done the right thing and uh, well it is this looking forward towards the future or knowing that this is the best thing uh, for your future um, Virgo yeah so it is this excitement when you look towards the future but right right now or on, on Friday here is will be feeling this a sadness because it uh, well it just happened Yeah. Yeah, Virgo. That's well for you. I think it might be you quitting something as well, but I don't see it as that this is somebody that you are breaking the connection with. Now, if it is your person or a friend, or hey, you, um, yeah. So, Virgo, that's glad for you. Thank you, and uh, bye. No, no, I'm gonna clean this before you, before you lay all over the cards yeah just like that oh did you wake up as well just for a moment Okay, I need to keep on going. Hey, you. They both are wanting some cuddle, some cuddles. Okay. Okay, just for a little bit. There we go. Enough. Okay. Libra! So, this is going to be your... Where are you going? What you doing? You're gonna fall. There you go. So, Libra, this is going to be your reading. We're gonna take a look at what this week has to offer. We're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. Let's see. I'm gonna start clarifying Libra. This looks like you are making a a change 
this week. I right, will see. Okay, so there's this feeling of uh, breaking up with somebody, Libra. Like the emotions are there of wanting to do so. But yes, can be something else. Let's see. So, Libra, on Monday. So, do see you being committed to something here, Libra. And it's like you're just trying to well, wait it out at the same time. Libra. There's not much emotions being involved here on Monday, um, but you are committed to it anyway. Can be as well that you have just that you are being patient in a situation, remaining patient, Libra. I will see. Tuesday. Well, you are feeling stable, Libra. Well, at least that's a knowing within you that you do have everything that you are uh, wanting and craving. Yeah. Being very certain in what it is that you are doing, Libra. Uh, on Tuesday so case can just be you crushing it at work Libra on Tuesday here is where it becomes interesting I do see these Yeah, Libra. So do you see this feeling of you realizing that something might be over on, on Wednesday here? It's like you're gonna make a final, well, final chance or final, uh, like giving it one more try, Libra. You have been patient, you are feeling stable uh, and good enough, like you can handle anything. And here on Wednesday, it's like, oh, this might be, <sighs> this might be over. I'm just going to give it one more try, which I, do, which I do see you doing here on Thursday. Just checking in, um, Libra, not giving it a lot of emotions either. Uh, it's more like a check-in. Can be towards work as well, Libra. Because I don't see uh, I don't see a lot of emotions here for you this week. Or that this is giving you. Uh, um, uh, can be that you are just sending in your job application to see. Yeah, but on Thursday, I do see you checking in or uh, just seeing how something goes. And 
on Friday, Libra. It's like yeah, it's like you. It is like you were suspecting or it's like you knew this Libra like it, it is over or but you didn't get in or got accepted I don't see it bothering you that much either because like you knew that this was a long shot it was like a final try or, uh, or just uh, let's see let's see what happens why not you are feeling stable yeah just like you are making a risk this week libra even though you might know in the might know the answers like you're gonna do it anyways just because why not yeah and even though the answer might not be what you were looking for i don't see it affecting you either because it was a long long shot or just a, a try like let's see what happens yeah so Libra um, that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Scorpio, so this is going to be your weekly reading. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. So let's see what this week has to offer. Scorpio. child here just flew off <clears throat> starting something new Scorpio I just not fully invested in something let's see of emotions this week Scorpio we will see we do have some sort of communication as well Scorpio or some uh, Yeah, on Monday, Scorpio, I do see you feeling this, uh, well, just being satisfied. So really, just feeling good, Scorpio. Like things are going your way, that you are on the right path. There's a lot of, um, well, feeling at peace with where you are, Scorpio. Good day. Tuesday, you see some some news coming in, Scorpio. Some bad news, but at the same time, it's like news that doesn't it doesn't affect you directly, but still, it it brings this uh, this sadness within you that you 
Well, I feel like you can't do anything to help. Scorpio. It's like wanting uh, wanting to give a helping hand, but there's not much you can can do. Yeah, so it can be that you're just trying to help a friend here, Scorpio. Um, but there is there isn't much you can can do here because I don't see it af affecting you like bad news coming your way. Um, Yeah, can be just gossip as well. Wednesday, yeah, because you are walking on uh, on cloud nine now, Scorpio. It's a lot of good emotions. This is mostly within you. Like you are feeling good about yourself, about your uh, surroundings. But it is, um, yeah, almost the same, almost the same feeling here on on Monday, um, that on on, on Wednesday, uh, Scorpio. This is more feeling more grateful. On Wednesday, Thursday <clears throat> yeah, it's like you're on Thursday it might be your patience uh, are being tested a little bit it is towards somebody that you do care for as well Scorpio Yeah, uh, I'm gonna clarify. Let's see. What is Thursday all about? This is more Scorpio on Thursday that you it's like your realization that you really do care for for something here it might be a little bit scary that you do have this strong emotions towards uh, well can be towards a person or towards a, a project it's just you putting in the work here because you do have such a, a strong, it's like you giving giving your all towards something here, Scorpio, on, on Thursday. Really wanting something to work. And on Friday, Scorpio, there's some... If you are doing some sort of celebration on on Friday, Scorpio, like going to a, to a party or to a gathering, um, it's like just be careful what it is that you are sharing with others. Scorpio. Yeah. Just be careful with your words here. 
this might be a, a mistake <coughs> of sharing too much or saying too much what's going on with you because you are having a wonderful week here and things are looking good for you and I want to brag a little bit about it or um, I just because it's like your words the way you're communicating here on Friday it's like it's going to come back and, and bite you uh, can be jealousy as well being created if somebody's wanting to uh, destroy this Scorpio yes just be careful with your words uh, and the way you are communicating on on Friday especially if you are in some sort of gathering uh, yeah so Scorpio that's what I have for you this week um, and we do have the we did have the, the child here as well so it's like I do see this it is a, a start of something new here for you and it is beautiful just be careful of who you are letting in Scorpio yeah a good week good week indeed so Scorpio that's what I had for you thank you and uh, hi Sagittarius so this is going to be your reading we're gonna take a look at what this week has to offer let's see Sagittarius what do you need to know the coming days Let's see, we will start clarifying straight away, so Sagittarius. I do see a lot of stability for you this week. It's like you are making some some changes at the same time. Monday. This can be a, an anniversary. Sagittarius there's some sort of uh, celebration as well if you have closed a, a business deal or uh, if you are doing some business and you see it going well for you as well on Monday a reason to celebrate here yeah a good good emotions happy happy news Tuesday it's almost you trying to move forward uh, from something here Sagittarius or distancing yourself but it's requiring a lot of strength uh, from you to do so it's like leaving something behind and still uh, still having to struggle a little bit with it Wednesday can be some uh, family discussion here on Wednesday some disagreement within the family
and if you have moved recently as well sorry Darius like made a, made a, a change it's like you are still not feeling at home uh, in this new location this can be talking about traveling as well um, you longing back and just trying to settle in into your new new place here a lot of on Thursdays a lot of uh, clarity it's like you will find the answers to your questions on, on Thursday or if you have been well trying to figure something out quite some time I do see you finding the answer here sorry Darius and on Friday let's clarify Friday for you Yeah. might be a realization here uh, on Friday Sagittarius that you have made some sort of mistake Sagittarius it's like a knowing like uh Yeah, some sort of mistake here, Sagittarius. Trying to find a solution to a problem, or knowing that you have have created some some problems for yourself here. Yeah, might be that you are a little bit rough on yourself here uh, on Friday. Like, yeah. Uh, well, it's like a uh, feeling like you yourself put yourself into this situation. Um, yeah, just be careful on Friday because it's like you will create some sort of mistake here uh, might be causing some some unnecessary problems Sagittarius um, yeah so Sagittarius that's glad for you thank you and uh, bye Capricorn so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at well, what this week has to offer we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. There's this feeling this week, uh, Capricorn, of uh, almost starting to date somebody new. Like this communication, this feelings of uh, it, uh, that it's going well, starting to build up these emotions. Um, 
Ja, man muss das äh, Butterflies. Yeah, but something is going well here and you can feel it as well, Capricorn. It's just excitement this week. On Monday, can I do see you going for it? Going for it, Capricorn. It's almost like you taking a risk here. It is an opportunity for, uh, yeah. It's like you see this uh, opportunity and you're just going for it. Might have been that you have been holding back a little bit in the past. But on Monday, I just see you. <clears throat> Tuesday. A lot of intriguing communication here. It's like finding out more. It can be about somebody. I do see it. You just trying to get to know somebody better here. Or can uh, you as well be... Um, getting some new information if you are if it is, is a new job opportunity Capricorn it's like you just getting the details what is requiring required from you and yeah getting some more information here on Tuesday Capricorn <coughs> Wednesday On Wednesday Capricorn It's like you know that you have been planting planted a seed here on Wednesday that something that will grow into something uh, beautiful it's like the start of something uh, something good here yeah it's like I knowing that this this path will will lead you somewhere or it will pay off in in the future uh, but it is something solid Capricorn Yeah, but I really do see this uh, this happiness, this excitement of this something new starting to build up here. Can be toward with another person, um, Capricorn, because there is this on Thursday. There is this happiness within you. That finally things are going my way. Um. And on Friday, <clears throat> on Friday, I do see you being in control when it comes to your emotions as well, uh, Capricorn. a lot of confidence here but with a sense of knowledge as well that not repeating in past mistakes feeling more in control of your actions yeah Capricorn looks like a pretty good week for you 
this is being the start of something new or and something uh, uh, beautiful as well yeah so Capricorn that's what I have for you thank you and uh, bye Aquarius so this is going to be your reading what we're going to take a look at what, what this week has to offer let's see we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days Starting off the week with a little bit of an uphill Aquarius, but I do see it becoming better by the end. Let's see. Might be that you are questioning your happiness here on, on Monday, Aquarius. But it is you being in your well, in your thoughts quite much. Can be a sp specific situation as well that you're just not uh, pleased with, Aquarius. Yeah, but you are overthinking something on, on Monday. Tuesday. Can be that you are making some sort of preparation here on Tuesday uh, towards an event. Can be towards this weekend as well, like starting to uh, well, plan ahead. Aquarius. You know, getting all the supplies or... Yeah, but get planning for an upcoming event here on Tuesday. Wednesday, I do see this problem, Aquarius can be the same thing that you are thinking about here on Monday there is uh, but here on Wednesday it's more like you're wanting to make some sort of decision but still not sure what to what kind of action you will take you're trying to solve a problem or wanting to but well, still looking for some sort of uh, some clarity to help you make this decision yeah so trying to solve a problem here Aquarius on on Wednesday Thursday It is an insecurity here, Aquarius, on Thursday. That you not feeling like you are good enough or that you are the right uh, person for the job. It's like questioning your abilities. Aquarius. Yeah. And if it is that you're wanting to um, it's like not daring to to ask ask somebody out either if you this is what you are wanting on Thursday feeling a bit insecure here Aquarius on, on Thursday
and on Friday, I'm just gonna clarify. There is a calmness here on Friday, Aquarius, for you. Like some reassurance that everything will, uh, that everything will turn out good for you. Things are becoming easier if it have been, well, some struggles in the past. Yeah, but a lot of healing here as well, Aquarius. It's like a, it's like a knowing that you have come a long way, Aquarius. Yeah, so some some worries, so some trying to solve a problem here, Aquarius, this week. Some insecurities as well, but you are working on it. Yeah, it's gonna be a um, a peaceful Friday for you as well, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, that's glad for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Pisces. So, this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at well what this week has to offer we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days ah it's this A lot of planning here, Pisces. Can be that you are planning for some sort of event or just for the for the weekend, trying to get yourself ready. A lot of preparation. We will see. It looks like a pretty solid week for you. On Monday, can I do see it being a, uh, well, your head is in the work here, Pisces. A lot of focus on work. Yeah, looks like a working day for you, Pisces. Just trying to keep your, like the, your head in the game. And if it is that you are preparing for some sort of business meeting or some sort of presentation here, Pisces, um, well, it might be some change of plans on, on Tuesday. Like, uh, yeah, this meeting not being, uh, get canceled or this interview get canceled, Pisces. Yeah, or if you did have some sort of dinner date as well, uh, do see you uh, you turning it down. Wednesday, it's a real day of manifestation here, right? 
you working towards your goals, your dreams, taking the action towards them as well. Thursday, do you see you wanting to be more left alone, Pisces? Isolate yourself a little bit, not wanting to deal with a lot of people. Yeah, just feeling a bit down on, on Thursday. Some, uh, well, just recharging your energy or your batteries. <coughs> And on Friday, oh, we do see a celebration here. It can be some sort of a, a birthday party, uh, Pisces. Um, yeah, it's you looking, feeling, and smelling good and being surrounded by people that you do care about, Pisces. Um, yeah, I do see a, a celebration here. Yeah, so, Pisces, that's bad for you this week. Thank you and uh, bye.